to claim that the dossier was key to getting the FISA, this surveillance warrant for Car Carter Page. Uh, but the Democrats' memo clearly shows that, that, that it wasn't a key, that there was more to the information that they have. Even the uh, earlier version uh, of the redacted uh, FISA authorization, uh, to me, it had enough information in it to indicate that the dossier was certainly not used as the primary source. If you watch this channel regularly, then you know that I often talk about the fact that our media is heavily invested in Democrat Party narratives to the point where they will lie to continue pushing that narrative. Well, today we have yet another teachable moment, thanks to the DNC operatives at CNN, MSNBC, and ABC News. Now to the battle on Capitol Hill tonight over the report on the Russia investigation that determined no deep state, no spying on the Trump campaign. During the IG report hearings yesterday, Republicans were able to show that while Horowitz concluded that there was no spying and no bias, that the truth was actually not so clear cut. For the last few years now, the media has parroted the Democrat Party talking point that the Steele dossier was not used to get FISA warrants and that there was actually other information that was used to get those approvals. You know, a lot of people will focus on the dossier. A lot of people will focus on, on a FISA of Carter Page and they'll say they were spying uh, on a campaign. But at the beginning, this is all about what Russia was doing. And now Republicans were trying to claim that the dossier was key to getting the FISA, this surveillance warrant for Car Carter Page. Uh, but the Democrats' memo clearly shows that, that, that it wasn't a key, that there was more to the information that they have. Even the uh, earlier version uh, of the redacted uh, FISA authorization uh, to me, it had enough information in it to indicate that the dossier was certainly not used as the primary source. Can you not see that these people are our betters? The unwashed, huddled masses would be completely lost without these shining beacons of light. They undoubtedly deserve our trust and our allegiance. Or these people are all just political hacks that should be heavily scrutinized and not blindly trusted. It would appear that the latter would be good advice since IG Horowitz confirmed that the Steele dossier was in fact the sole reason that FISA warrants were approved for Carter Page. And in fact, documents were actually falsified in order to get that approval. That raised significant questions about the reliability of the Steele reporting. This was particularly noteworthy because the FISA applications relied entirely on information from the from the steel, I'm sorry, from the primary subsources reporting. So the question is now, will the mass media retract or correct any of those stories where they claimed FISA abuse was a conspiracy theory? Here's an article from NBC News making that very claim, yet I don't see any corrections and the story hasn't been taken down. This was particularly noteworthy because the FISA applications relied entirely. Relied entirely. That's utterly unambiguous. He said right there that the FISA warrants were based entirely on the Steele dossier. Looks like Trump was right and the left-wing media wrong again. A dossier that was paid for by the Democrat Party and compiled by a foreign agent who used Russian and Ukrainian intelligence sources to manufacture dirt on their political opponent. Does that sound at all familiar to you? All right. That was what was promised from this IG's report. 476 pages. No Trump as this. What exactly did Trump say about this? That's a lie. That his campaign was spied on? Because we absolutely know that did happen. Despite the semantic word gangs being played by DNC spin doctors. As Representative Jim Jordan correctly points out, we thought they spied on two Americans. We now know it was four. The Inspector General's report confirms what many of us feared. James Comey's FBI ignored guidelines and rules in spying on President Trump's campaign in 2016. We now know that within one week of the investigation opening, the FBI was surveilling the campaign and four specific individuals associated with it. Sorry to interrupt, but I want to take a quick moment to thank this episode's sponsor, PatrioticLegacy.com. PatrioticLegacy.com was nice enough to send me over one of these units so I could give you an honest review. I love this tactical flashlight. It's got everything you would ever need. Six overall lighting functions, escape features like the window hammer and the seatbelt cutter, solar charging so you don't need batteries, a power bank for charging your phone and other devices, 
and a removable compass with access to a personal safety alarm. Patriot Legacy supports veterans and YouTubers like yours truly. So head on over there and make sure to use the promo code DRONE20 to get 20% off your purchase. Thank you. They sent one of the supervisory agents from the Crossfire Hurricane team to the briefing, and that agent prepared a report to the file of the briefing. About what Trump said. About what Mr. Trump said and what Mr. Flynn said. Um, the, uh, the incident, the event, the meeting, was a briefing, and the FBI considered and decided to send that agent there to do the briefing. So the agent was actually doing the briefing, but also using it for the purpose of investigation. Okay, now, okay. So let's, let's play this out. They never told Trump about the concerns. Is it fair to say there came a point to where surveilling Carter Page became unlawful? Um, I will let the court decide that. The court has this report and will make that decision. Let's put the it this way. If you don't have a legal foundation to surveil somebody and you keep doing it, is that bad? Absolutely. Is that spying? Um, it's, it's not, it's illegal surveillance. It's not court authorized Whatever surveillance. Whatever illegal surveillance FISA. means, they did it. All this stuff that they didn't illegally surveil Trump's campaign, they did. So not only did we find out that the FBI lied and doctored documents in order to unlawfully get FISA warrants for spying, we also now know that the FBI sent an agent to give a briefing with a side mission of spying on the campaign while he was doing it. They also don't call it bias when the top agents that are running the investigation are tweeting back and forth about how much they hate Trump and how they're going to keep him out of the presidency. Clearly, Horowitz was hedging and for whatever reason giving these agents the benefit of the doubt. Several times today, both in your opening statement and in response to questions, that you did not find documentary testimonial evidence of bias that influenced the FBI's decision to conduct these operations. We also noted the lack of satisfactory explanations and in fact, leave open the possibility that, for the reasons you indicated, it's unclear what the motivations were. On the one hand, gross incompetence, negligence. On the other hand, intentionality. And where in between, we weren't in a position to, with the evidence we had, to make that conclusion. Uh, my I, point I'm is- not ruling it out. Then why is it in the report? Why are all the media networks declaring it an undeniable fact? Obviously, there's some bias at play here when your top agents are lying and doctoring documents to get warrants for spying. By the way, there was no spying, of course. The FBI obtained proper warrants. You should read the report. Facts first, none of that is true. The report found that the launch of the Russia investigation was legally sound, unbiased, and that no spying occurred. That is a God's honest truth. Read the report if you don't believe me. Is it just me or is Don Lamont really bad at lying? I mean it. The tone in which he speaks comes across as someone who knows they're spewing bullshit. He says that knowing that nobody watching is going to read 450 pages of an inspector general report. You think Don Lemon read it? No way! But we don't really need to read the report because there were hearings on it all day yesterday. Horowitz admitted that the FBI sent an agent to do a briefing with the alternate mission of spying on the people at the briefing. The warrant to do so was based entirely on the Steele dossier, which had already been completely discredited. Look, the report may not be what we were all hoping for, but it seems like a little digging is unearthing some truths that, for whatever reason, were purposely muted. That's all the CNN I can stomach for now. If you enjoy this channel and you agree with its mission, consider supporting me on Patreon, Subscribestar, or just sending a donation on PayPal. Or you could just simply like, share, and subscribe. I very much appreciate your support either way. Thank you and keep coming back.